The Lenovo Army Pro 7i is the organization's lead gaming laptop, presenting the best quality parts and a plan that is tuned for gaming. The most recent model games an extremely quick Intel 13th Gen Raptor Lake Central processor and a very good quality NVIDIA GPU, at a cost that is very sensible contrasted with a significant part of the opposition. It's a very much fabricated, safely styled laptop that won't claim straightforwardly to gamers, however will have more extensive allure among the individuals who need to involve its power for efficiency and inventive undertakings. What's more, the Legion Pro 7i has a lot of that, power, and is perhaps of the quickest laptop we've yet tried. The opposition is coming, however for the present, the Legion Pro 7i is close to the highest point of the gaming laptop leaderboard. Specs and Configurations Lenovo Legion Pro 7i Dimensions 14.3 inches by 10.32 inches x 0.86 to 1.01 inches. Weight 6.17 pounds. Processor Intel Core i913900HX. Graphics NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080. RAM 32GB DDR5 6000 MHz. Display 16.0 inch 1610 XCA, 2560 by 1600, IPS. 240 Hz. Storage 1 TB C4.0 SSD. Touch No. Ports 4X USB A 3.2 Gen 1. 1X USB C 3.2 Gen 2. 1X USB C with Thunderbolt 4. 1X HDMI 2.1. 1X Ethernet RJ45. 1 by 3.5 mm audio jack. Wireless Wi Fi 6C and Bluetooth 5.1. Webcam 1080p Operating System Windows 11 Battery 99.9 Watt Hours Price $2,750 There's only one setup of the Legion Pro 7i, $2,750 for a Core i913900HX, 32GB of DDR5 6000 MHz RAM, a 1TB C4.0 SSD, and a 16.0-inch IPS show running at 240Hz. That is an extremely fair cost for the parts, and, as we'll see, a general deal given the exhibition. We'll get to the Legion Pro 7i's plan later. I'm beginning with execution since this is one inconceivably quick laptop. That is nothing unexpected, considering that it's supplied with better quality renditions of the most recent central processors and GPUs accessible today. In the first place, there's the Intel 13th Gen Raptor Lake Core i913900HX, a 24-core, 8 performance. 16 efficient, 32 thread processor running at 55 watts and with a maximum turbo frequency of 5.4 GHz. Then, at that point, there's the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080 running at 175 watts, close to the top finish of NVIDIA's most recent line of GPUs. The blend brought about probably the quickest benchmark scores we've recorded on a laptop. I ran all tests in both typical and execution modes. There's a GPU overclock setting that I tried in the Puget Bench benchmark, yet it had negligible effect. In our standard CPU intensive benchmarks, including Geekbench 5, Cinebench R23, and our handbrake test that encodes a 420 MB video as H.265, the Legion Pro 7i accomplished the second best scores among every one of the laptops we've tried. That incorporates Macintosh's MacBook Pro 14 with the M2 Max. The main laptop that has matched it so far is the 2023 MSI GT77 Titan with a Core i913980HX and RTX 4090. Remember, however, that the MSI costs about $2,000 more than the Legion Pro 7i. The Legion Pro 7i likewise scored the most noteworthy we've seen from any machine, laptop or desktop, in the Puget Bench Premiere Pro benchmark that runs a live form of Adobe's Premiere Pro 2022. It hit 1,436 in execution mode, where the following most elevated score was 1,347 by a desktop PC running an Intel Core i912900KS with RTX 3090. It was likewise a lot quicker than the MacBook Pro 16 running the M1 Max, 1,167, and the MacBook Pro 14 with the M2 Max, 1,093. The 2023 MSI GT77 Titan was tried in a later variant of the software where it scored 1031 versus the Lenovo's 1441 in a similar rendition. That is a great appearing and ought to be invigorating for requesting makers who need the best presentation, especially given the Legion lower cost. The present moment, 
Assuming you're searching for one of the quickest efficiency and inventiveness laptop you can purchase without burning through monstrous measures of cash on a compact workstation, that probably won't be quicker, then the Legion Pro 7i is the most ideal laptop for you. There will be others with similar parts coming out that will probably be similarly as quick, similar to the most recent MSI GT77 Titan, yet until further notice, the Legion Pro 7i is not too far off at the top and even starts to lead the pack in certain benchmarks. There's a 99.9 watt hour battery inside the Legion Pro 7i, however with its strong parts and enormous, high goal show, I didn't anticipate a lot of in that frame of mind of battery duration. Furthermore, for sure, the Legion was unremarkable. It oversaw simply 3.25 hours in our web browsing test, 6.75 hours in our video circling test, and it wouldn't finish the PC Markdown applications battery test. Obviously, the Legion Pro 7i isn't intended to be a compact workstation, and that is one region where the durable MacBook Pro 16 is really convincing. Furthermore, indeed, it can game as well. The Legion Pro 7i likewise pushed out probably the quickest 3 mark time spy scores we've found in a laptop, particularly in execution mode, where it was underdog to the 2023 MSI GT77 Titan. Similarly, as with the Puget Bench benchmark, I tried with the GPU overclock setting turned on, however it had little effect. In this way, I ran our gaming benchmarks in typical and execution modes. Note that the MSI PCs just have execution modes to go with calm and overclocked. So I announced the presentation mode results here. The Razer Blade 17 didn't have selectable modes when we tried it. While the Legion Pro 7 I stood its ground against the MSI in our efficiency and imagination benchmarks, it fell behind in our gaming tests. That will be normal, given the MSI's quicker GPU. The Legion Pro 7 I outflanked the laptops running more seasoned tech, with execution mode making pretty much of a distinction relying upon the title and the settings. Coming up next are benchmarks results at 1080p, which is what we ordinarily report. The Legion Pro 7i performed well at 1440p in Cyberpunk 2077, dropping a couple of edges each second, FPS, and keeping it in front of the more seasoned workstations. In Red Dead Redemption 2, it fell by around 20 FPS in 1440p, yet all the same remained very playable. The drop while changing to 1440p was generally a similar in Assassin's Creed Valhalla with around a 20 FPS decrease in execution mode. Once more, however, the Legion was quicker than past age machines. One region where the Legion didn't perform very much was in Cyberpunk 2077 with ray following turned on. Here, it turned in outline rates that matched the RTX 3080T prepared laptops. Ideally, that is something that Lenovo and Nvidia can attempt to work on in the following arrangement of drivers. Generally speaking, the Legion Pro 7i isn't exactly as overwhelming a gaming laptop as it is a creator's machine, however it's still very quick and performs well in accordance with its cost. You're getting a gaming laptop completely equipped for 1440p gaming with graphical subtleties turned up, without offering a kidney to pay for it. The plan is passerby, yet entirely that is completely fine. On the off chance that you're searching for an ostentatious gamer aesthetic, then you'll be disappointed with the Legion Pro 7i. It's a fairly thick laptop developed of CNC machined aluminum and it's all dark. The main gesture to gamers is per key RGB keyboard lighting and a RGBU light strip across the front lower part of the chassis. Any other way, you'll track down basic lines and huge, yet practical venting. I generally approve of the stylish since, supposing that I want a strong machine I can pull around and use in non-gamer conditions, the Legion Pro 7 I will fit right in. Its development is first rate, with no bowing, flexing, or curving. It positions with the best made gaming machines, like the Razer Blade 17. Because of shockingly little top and side bezels and a converse indent lodging the webcam, the frame is sensibly estimated for a 16-inch machine. It's thick, however, and it's more than 6 pounds, making it a weighty laptop to bring with you. And afterwards you'll need to include the immense 330-watt power block. Lenovo put a lot of thought into the laptop's warm plan. Cold Front 5.0 Innovation offers double fans and a fume chamber framework that sucks in air through the console and the base vents, while hot air exits out the side and back vents. That can make things hot assuming your hand is excessively near the side. The framework likewise expands capacity to both the central processor and GPU, which was without a doubt a figure the laptop's great exhibition. Lenovo involved its Legion True Strike keyboard in the Legion Pro 7i which offers adequate travel and activation to make pounding the keys during serious gaming sufficiently agreeable. 
Then there's 100% anti-to-ghosting and per-key RGB lighting that can be modified utilizing a Lenovo utility. The keyboard feels better for gaming, however, its switches are somewhat firm, with an unexpected lining activity that is not as agreeable for long composing meetings. The touchpad is more modest than it ought to be given all the accessible space on the palm rest, however it's exact, with calm, certain button clicks. Obviously, the showcase isn't contact empowered. Network is perfect, with a lot of inheritance and modern ports. Most are adjusted along the back thus they don't disrupt everything, including the restrictive power connector that utilizes the huge power block referenced before. Wi-Fi is state-of-the-art and performed well during our testing. At long last, there's a 1080p webcam, which is dependably welcome, and it offers an actual change to shut it down electronically for upgraded protection. There's no biometric login so you're left with composing in a pin or secret key to sign into the machine. A decent showcase upgraded for gaming. The Legion Pro 7i games a 16.0-inch 16.10 IPS show running at WXCA, 2560 by 1600 with a quick revive pace of 240 Hz. Emotionally, it's a fine showcase, with a lot of brilliance, great difference, and varieties that are appealing and unsaturated. As indicated by my colorimeter, the showcase is advanced for gaming. It's extremely splendid at 529 nits, which helps if you have any desire to run HDR-empowered games, and its differentiation is profound enough at 1140 to 1. Its varieties aren't awfully wide, however, near the exceptional laptop normal at 100% sRGB and 77% Adobe RGB, with incredible exactness at Delta 0.62, under 1.0 is viewed as magnificent. While it can't keep up with the mini-LED display in the 2023 MSI GT77 Titan or the OLED display in the latest Razer Blade 15, especially in its contrast, it's great for productivity work and provides good enough performance for gamers. The laptop isn't fast enough to fully use the 240Hz refresh rate in modern titles at 1440p with graphics turned up, but that still leaves it with plenty of headroom for older games and lower settings. While it can't keep up with the mini-LED display in the 2023 MSI GT77 Titan or the OLED display in the latest Razer Blade 15, especially in its contrast, it's great for productivity work and provides good enough performance for gamers. The laptop isn't fast enough to fully use the 240Hz refresh rate in modern titles at 1440p with graphics turned up, but that still leaves it with plenty of headroom for older games and lower settings. Two speakers on the front side edges of the undercarriage give sound. They're Harman speakers with Nehemic 3D sound, however I didn't test its Encompass sound capacities. It put out adequate volume to conquer the sensible fan commotion during gaming, with alright mids and highs and an absence of bass. You'll presumably need a decent arrangement of gaming earphones or outer speakers for the best sound insight. A superior creator laptop, yet at the same time more than quickly enough for gamers. I was more dazzled with how the Legion Pro 7 I handled our efficiency and imaginative benchmarks than I was with its gaming execution. It's in runner-up behind the 2023 MSI GT77 Titan, which costs $2,000 more, so I'm not exactly whining. On the off chance that you need a gaming laptop that performs well and that can be utilized in non-gaming conditions without sticking out, then the Legion Pro 7i is an extraordinary decision. The way that it's in all actuality reasonable, given the parts inside, is simply good to beat all. Thank you for watching the video to the end, please if you love our video click the like button, give us a thumb up, subscribes, share and drop a comment on the video you like to see next.